Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my playthrough of Your Turn to Die. I almost said Super Paper Mario. That is not what we're playing. Not even close. Alright, so um, in the last episode we found an extra card that also sounded like a Keymaster card except on, instead of writing Keymaster on it, it wrote Sacrifice. And it's one of the cards where if someone finds out about it, then you die. So, uh, yeah, so I was uh, asking about it, so I guess we just gotta kinda dodge the question. I don't know. What are you talking about? Huh, I see. So he knows that I saw it. Or at least I think that's what it's- like, he probably saw it and then he knows that we saw it now. It's hard to see in the dark, but there are bookshelves. Okay, it's all very odd. It's a lot to piece together right now, like, I'm just coming out of that last episode. Whew. All right, I'm still thinking a lot of things through. There's been a lot going on in this game. I'm gonna actually go to the pink room for a minute. No one's here, and it's still as bright as ever. Okay, I just always have to check just in case like a character is doing something suspicious that we do not want to deal with. Let's go to the cafeteria. Oh, Kai's still here. Oh, Miss Sarah and company. K Kai. Yes, I am Kai. Is something the matter? We were just talking about all meeting up. Come to think of it, uh, Joe was saying, saying to come to come gather in the bar. Huh? The lights are restored, so at least I can move. Shall we all go together? Were you just hiding there in the dark the whole time? Concerned. Okay. Um, uh, let's go to the central hall. Alright. And we'll move to. I guess we'll just go straight to the bar. I don't think there's anything else we need to do right now. Unless we need to gather some more people. I think we're good. Head straight. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought they said they were gonna meet here. Why is no one here? They hear you. Sarah. Joe, did you find now? She she wasn't on the second floor? You mean she's up and vanished? Oh no. Oh no. Looking around the room, I found a I found almost everyone, but Mal had already already assembled. Just what's going on here? And just what is going on? Maybe because she interfered? She got in trouble? Uh, well, now everybody calm down. Because they said interference will not be tolerated. And because she took the head, is that not interfering? I don't know. Um, it, who is the person tied up here? There. To think of a voice. No, I actually have to think of a voice for now. I, I was hoping we'd just stay knocked out as long as possible so I don't have to think of another voice. Okay, wait. <laughs> There's already so many voices I have to bounce. Um, <laughs> Such an annoying, annoying bunch. You all plus this now makes everyone right. Huh. Hey, you woke up. Remove these ropes so long as you don't want me to crush you. This guy's a little, little riotous. That's troublesome. Heh, <laughs> all chicken, are you? I might have brought some, brought in someone difference. Uh, d difference? Dangerous. Talk to him. Um, do you have a second? Hmm, you? E. Yeah! Why is she flocking around freely? Hurry, hurry, somebody capture her! What's this all of a sudden? Oh, I... I know, yes I do. This girl's bad news. C c calm down. Could you start at the beginning? And could you... Could you drop that weird tone of yours? Huh? Hm, look at me, getting so dis... Discoordinated. <laughs> this guy's playing a joke on us? Listen, we don't have the time to spend on you. But I'll allow a little, a little time for inquiries. We'll decide whether to untie you after that. Say again. <laughs> Try not to act superior, blonde rascal. Ooh, scary. You handle qu you handle questioning, scary Sarah. What? I'm doing that too? The policeman's shaking over here. Ah. <sighs> Talk to me whenever you're ready. Save the game. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use my skills in 
conversation using this game. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, you ready? Okie dokie. O Okie dokie. Now we'll begin. Ooh, what is this? This is different. This is new. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay. Questioning. Just so it's just so it's clear, me and me and you are equals. Don't think I'll obediently listen to you. Threat, pacify, or inquire. I'll start by inquiring. Should I ask him. Uh, what's your name? What's your, please tell me your name. And if I say no, hmm, he won't tell me. Pacify. I need him to calm down a little. Uh, ask him for a say or speak calmly. Ask him for a say. You look dissatisfied. What do you want? What do you want to say to us? I'm telling you that I want to say nothing. Hmm. Can't you be calm, Mr. Strippy? Rather rude nickname, lopsided hair. <laughs> Such a rude person. Inquire. What's your occupation? Please tell me your occupation. Hmm, force this question. I don't feel like much, much like answering. Huh, you won't tell me. Alright, fine. It came to this. I need to be forceful. Written hotly and emotionally, then in coolly and logically. If you refuse to even talk, I have no obligation to untie you. Wait, they're really ha they're really chaffing me. These ropes. I get it. I'll tell you a little. He he seems like he's willing to talk now. What should I ask him? What's your name? Please tell me your name. It's proper for you to give give me give your name first. I'm Sarah. Ch uh, I'm Sarah Ch Chidoin. Just Sarah is fine. I am... Go. Go. Gonbi. Gonbi Yamada. Call me Gonbi. Sworn old fashioned name. As if yours isn't, isn't Kuta, Kuta, uh, Kutaro Hamburger. Hamburger. That's Kutaro Burger Bird for you. To you. It's beautiful. Gonbi, huh? What should I ask him? What's your occupation? Please, tell me your occupation. My occupation is... Er, well, I'm a sal... I'm a salary man. Dressed like that? Er... That looks like a prison uniform. Fool, Japanese uniforms don't use this pattern. Uh, uh, don't use this pattern. And the pajamas are vertically striped. Sure, knowledgeable on the subject. Why you? Was that a trap? <laughs> uh, sort of. Hmm. This person seems quite tiring. Wow. Even getting told by Kai. True. I was in prison for somewhat long time. For a somewhat long time after borrowing uh, from uh, borrowing from people a bit too much. Yeah, definitely borrowing. I agree. Larency then. Surely even you've accidentally perma borrowed a video game or two, right? It's, it's not it's not hot. <sighs> that said, I was gonna do my time I was doing my time digitally as a model prisoner. And yet suddenly I was brought to this place. So even so even this person's a victim is a victim. I know his name and occupation now. I'll try asking something else. What should I ask him? Where were you hiding? Do you know the kidnappers? Uh, I think it's more important to know about the kidnappers. Do you know what? Do you know about the kidnappers? Such a pest, making me answer everything. Huh? He won't answer. Time to pacify him. Be calm. Can't you be calm, Mr. Gonbi? My word, that's so cool and collected attitude pleases me. That cool attitude attacked. Okay, he's pretty mad, got it. Um, I need to be forceful. Or do I need to calm him down a little? Uh, 
Okay, so he wants me to not act that way. Fine. I'll threaten hotly and emotionally. Unless you want to be punched by Kitaro, please tell me everything. I absolutely won't submit to violence, so don't even bother, alright? So that, so that kind of threat won't work. Fine. Pacify. Ask him for a sec. Is there something you want to say to us? Untie these ropes quickly. Ah! My computer automatically moved it. Uh, I need to find it. Untie this rope quickly, big face. So mean. Oof, crocodile tears, yes. It's no use. I went too far. Then would you talk to me? I knew this were fake tears. No, I won't. Seems like I little need a little something a little more. You want this rope's untied, right? You know what I'm trying. You know what I'm trying to say, don't you? I'm afraid I don't. What kind of attitude is that? Ah, I need to weaken a little more. What does he want? I guess we'll continue. Something I won't submit to violence. What did I do that was wrong? What did I not do yet? Did I not threat him emotion uh, logically? No, I did that. I need to weaken him a little bit more. Did I not do everything? Speak calmly. Can't you put? Can't you be calmly, Stommy? I'm always calm. I'm not your enemy. Can we stop arguing? Hmph, true. It does all make me make us hungrier. Yet, I don't care for these methods. This is no equal conversation. I need to make another push. Another push? In what way? And now I gotta talk to him coolly and logically. For threat? I thought you meant no hostility. Flip your thinking. If our positions were swapped, Gombi, do you think that you'd untie me? Very well. I suppose I'll tell you a little more. Yes, I finally got it. Okay. Starting to solve this guy. Starting to understand him. I actually really like this. In my light, from my like having to rec my recording setup, sort of feels like I'm in a uh, <laughs> I'm in an interrogation room too. Okay. Surprisingly, he seems like. He seems to recognize he's, he's dubious. I'm glad he feels like talking. Okay. What should I ask him? Do you know, do you know the kidnappers? What do you know about the kidnappers? <laughs> I have zero information. Before, before I was brought here, I had rare plans for a visit a visitation. But when I entered the visiting room, no one came. By the time I started to find it all, my senses were already fading. When you think about it, that's astounding. The organization behind this can free a prisoner? If Gonpi's telling the truth, at least. Yeah, that is a lot. I mean, who is behind this? This seems like a very big thing. Like, is it like a thing in Ramba? In the way that, like, the world around us is, like, already, like, gone, and then they just kind of fed memories into our minds of what their world was like? Ah, uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> it's a little late to say, but, you know. Um... Why were you hiding? Why were you hiding the whole time? When I woke, I thought to myself, yikes. This is a big yikes indeed. Some of the cavalry on this guy. The speaker said something about the about a trial, but it was all foolish. I'd already committed committed myself to hiding. I locked the red door and lay and lay in wait for a long time. Just like a tiger waiting for its prey. <laughs> So you got away by just hiding? So he got scared and hauled up. Over several times I did hear nearby sounds too dreadful for this world. What were they? Don't try to feign, feign innocence. Huh? Just put your, he your he head to your chest and think. Has Gonby gotten some ins uh, misconception about me? What I'm most curious about, about so far is these sounds. If I can confirm what they are, I might, I might tell the me the me, that might tell me the reason for his attitude. Sounds? What exactly did you hear? That fra framed ignorance. How it annoys me. 
Uh, I can't let him be freaked out. I need to calm him down a little bit. Can't you be calm, Mr. Grumpy? <laughs> I tire of this approach. Uh, he won't entertain me. I need to be forceful. How do I be forceful here? Because, like, okay. And then this is where I have to threaten hostile, I think. This is going nowhere. If you don't answer me properly, I'll do something terrible to you. Something terrible? Do you really have the guts? Maybe I lack the intimidation for this. You've taken some, but if you don't tell me the important parts, I can't untie you too bad. Awful. Then just do what you please. I can't make him too angry. Ask him for a say, I guess. That's the only thing you can really do right now, right? I think. Is there something you want to say to us? Sarah Ch uh, Chidoin, how, how many, uh, I can read, how many have you laid hands on? What do you mean? I know your crimes. It's no, it's no use playing dumb. Don't be pompous about it. See, uh, seems, seems I need a little something more. What is that something more? I'm so confused, what did I miss? Be calm? Can't you be calm, Mr. Grumpy? Tire of this approach, you won't entertain me. After first say, is there something you want to say to us? Why did you... One second, I need to plug in my computer. Okay, um... I don't understand. Is that a bird? That was a very loud bird. Um, okay, I'm gonna start plugging in my computer while I do this. Maybe we have to inquire him about assisting us. Maybe I was just asking the wrong question. We're in the same situation. Will you help us? Fool, obviously I won't help a dangerous girl like you. He's pretty wary. Okay, so no, that's not the problem. That's not the thing either. I guess we just gotta keep on threatening coolly, right? Because, like, he's... Some, but you won't, uh, if you won't tell me the, uh, the important part of I can't tell you. Dang it. Uh, God, surely I've answered enough of the questions. Um, not quite. Uh, surely I've answered at least few of your questions. Then I'll just cut off a little bit of your ropes. What's the point if they're not untied? Grr. He's starting to show signs of talking. I'm, gonna completely, I'm just going to continue to threaten you coolly and logically. You talked some, but if you won't tell me the important parts, I can't untie you too bad. We are back to what we're doing. I mean, hopefully it wasn't a cut, so we're not just back like you just saw me do whatever I was doing. But otherwise, I am back. So, um, where was I? You've talked some, but if you won't tell me the important parts, I can't untie you too bad. I have to check how long have I been recording for? Not long. I still have a lot of time for this episode. Grr. You can sure roll his R's. Well I, I, well, I can roll my R's, it's just I can never do them when I'm trying to. Like, I'll do them unintentionally. Okay. Can I try asking him about the sounds now? Sounds, what exactly did you hear? No. Threat. Again. Calmly. You've talked some, but if you won't tell me the important parts, I can't tell you too bad. Drrrr. See, I can't roll it when I'm trying to. He sure can roll his R's. Ask him for a say. Is there something you want to say to us? Mwahaha. Mwahaha. Geez, stop being pompous about it. Speak calmly. Can't you be calm, Mr. Gombi? What? I think you made some mistake, Gombi. Fool, is this perfection mistaken? That's right. It's because you're so perfect that it's easy to assume you're mistaken. A blatant lie. You must, don't be, don't be little me. Instigating him is no good. I think we'll have to, I think I'm just a step away though. Hmm, what do I have to do? Okay. Now I ask him, is 
going nowhere. If you don't answer me, I'm gonna do something terrible to you. Something terrible? I'll do this. Do what? Don't tell me. You'll sh shoot. Hold on. Wait. Haste makes waste, you know? Did I just threaten him with a gun? Oh my gosh. Hmm. I'll tell you what, what you wish to know. Alright. I think I can finally ask him. Okay, let's inquire about it. What should I ask him? Sounds. Sounds. What exactly did you hear? The sounds of a gunfight. Say what? You just caught it. Nine gunshots. <laughs> Gandhi, that was one of the games we had to do. <laughs> My ears caught it. Nine gunshots. As many as nine people died. And that's not even as many, because like multiple people can die from gunshots. So I mean, you're not you're not really thinking this through, are you? Ah, oh, that would have been the R Russian roulette. Oh. I waited for this shots to cease and opened the door to see the situation, but but there she stood, a killer, the killer wielding a gun. She she uh, and she stubbornly chased me. Sarah Ch Chidoin, it was you. Er, so you were scared and hid, got in a panic because of the gunshots, and saw Sarah with the revolver, foamed at the mouth and fainted. Don't give me such a biased summary, guys. The more I learn, the more unfortunate he seems. But I can't imagine he's a villain. What should I ask him? Will you assist us? We're in the same situation. Will you help us? Did you hear what I said? Who would assist the likes of... I told him our story so far. About and about, about the Russian roulette game. Say again? So all of this was a misunderstanding. Caused my, by my too superior insight. I, I don't... Er, uh, yes, that's right. Understood. Untie me. You gonna help us? <laughs> You're all fools. Who would assist someone they don't even know after hearing about the main game? Someone among you will surely turn traitor, and, and only soft-hearted fools will die. <sighs> it can only be me. Th it can't only be me thinking that, correct? I don't really think so. I I think multiple people can make it. It's just... Joe, what are you doing? Joe removed Gonby's ropes. What is this meant to be? I've given up on... I've given up on suspecting my allies. Huh? I just can't imagine it. There's the, That there's the bad guy among us. <sighs> given up on thinking, eh? What do you what do you know about these people? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know anything, but it's what my heart says. So what what else can I do? I'm not smart anyhow, so I'm gonna believe in this feeling. Hmm, <laughs> you say such cheesy things. Oh well, as a thanks for untying me, I will let you go without re retaliation. No, so no will to help out. I refuse, but I won't interfere so long. Great. So just kind of kind of follow us along, I see. Man, calling me cheesy sure is me sure is making me embarrassed. Just making sure my uh, my OBS isn't uh, having any rendering issues anymore, which I think it should be fine. And I'm gonna edit after, so if the like mouth lines don't line up, like sometimes you're talking and then recordings don't actually line up the audio. Anyways, listen, you guys don't have to care about that, but. <laughs> I just have to make sure to line up for you guys' viewing pleasure. <laughs> In contrast to, to Joe feeling awkward, the moon seemed to be lightening. It felt like we could be in uh, unified again. But I couldn't forget. The person who attacks Sal is out there. It's true. Now then, should we go search for uh, for Naoto altogether? Yeah, that's it. Let's split, let's split up the search. S sorry, I'm still not feeling good. It's is it okay if I need to rest? Ah oh, heck, Jin, Sarah, you guys rest here too. Okay. Guess we'll put the fort down here, Jin. I I don't 
Mia. Jin pushed Sal away and approached me. Big sister, I want you to take me. Oof. What should I do? He really wants us to bring him with him, with us. I think it's best. Just in case, because I'm not sure if Sao is ex exactly like the safest person right now yet. So I think taking Jin with us would be a good sign. Because like, he, Sao did ask for a gun earlier, which was very suspicious. If you remember when we did the Russian roulette a while ago, actually. But yeah. Yeah, I think this is the right choice. Thanks. Yeah. Alright then, let's go, Sarah. Sal and Kana are resting in the corner. You okay, Kana? I don't want to put my burden on Kana. I'll keep checking for on her from a distance. Sounds like the safest option. Have the names changed? No, we can't even look at the board anymore. Okay. Should probably look back on the recording to see what names those were. I don't remember, so yeah. Oh wait, I had something to tell us about future characters. I can see the entrance to the second floor. Wait, are all the names on that board everyone who's supposed to come? So people including this guy who's hiding here, who didn't make it, or are hiding, are put under that list. So that means... What that means is that because Kana's sister died, her name is probably on that board. We should ask Kana about that, but I don't think there's a way to do that, so. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think of what we were doing. Uh, we were supposed to head out, I don't know where. Uh, let's go to the... Smoking area hallway. Because I think if we go to the, the game room here, Go to the. Oh, well, there's already something here. Okay. She didn't fall down this large hole, surely. Come to think, where where's this hole even go to? I would like to believe she's safe. Yeah. Doors just open easily. I really want to. This is a red room again, so I can steal this candle, but it won't let me. Which is so odd. You know, something tells me this blood here, in this blood water and ceiling, is Mishima's blood. I don't, I don't know if that's just, like, that's purely speculation, but still. Um, I want to investigate all the rooms, because we still need the Kana doll. Ooh, wait. Is this a doll of me? What, what's this? Isn't this me? So now we can do the mirror room, except for the part that we have to still melt the ice sculpture, which I'm not sure how to do, and fix the light bulbs. So we need something to stand on. Huh. Okay. It's a spitting image, like I'm looking into a mirror. Got it. <laughs> got that uh, foreshadowing there. Oof, our enemy's got some wild hobbies, huh? It's eerie how detailed it is. Yeah, yet I can't look away from it. From that, uh, intractedness. It's amazing, but when was this made? You couldn't pull this off without a long, detailed observation. Observation. No, 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 no way. Could Kai still be behind it? Like I was still suspicious of him through this whole thing, but who could accomplish such a thing? Yeah, exactly. I think that's to lead us off the wrong track. I don't think it's actually Kai. As much as it wants us to lead to believe that. What's up? Um. Ask who has his attention. Ask about Kai. Keji, I want to know your perspective. What do you think about Kai? Kai is no ordinary person for sure. I mean, we do have reason to suspect him, even if it's like not for that, because he whacked that doll on the head with the frying pan without care. His eyes are dead, for one, just like Mr. Policeman here. <laughs> Do you think he's a bad person? I don't know. Everybody's got good parts and bad parts, right? That's true. Look, 
You can do you can do what you can, Sarah. For now, we'll just take this doll along. Sounds like a good plan. For next episode. Alright. Whew. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do next. I guess we have to finish the mirror room. I'm honestly kinda lost where we continue. So I'm kinda glad we have to stop. But it's like not a stop where I can just like explore and then start recording later. So anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to try to think of some ideas of what we can do for the next, uh, like how to like solve the puzzle before we start the next one. And then, uh, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.